300 meters to run then for Shankule to retain gold for Ethiopia, the greatest race of her life by a massive margin and she leads by a big margin too. The gap at 42, 42 kilometers, some 24 seconds as she negotiates this long sweeping left-hand turn. The crowds roar her on, the banners held aloft. One final little check over her shoulder. She cannot believe she's going to be crowned world champion in a few seconds time. And considering how quickly they've run through this second half, she's in fabulous shape. The first half was slow. The second half has been lightning quick, considering the temperature has climbed now to something very close to 30 degrees centigrade. Ethiopia will retain gold in the women's marathon in Budapest 2023. Sebastian Coe to the left there, holding the finish banner for this marvelous Ethiopian athlete. She is world champion, Shankule of Ethiopia. Amane Berise Shankule, the third quickest athlete in time, is the in all time is the fastest in the world this year in Budapest. And there a silver medal for last year's champion, Gebra Slassi. A stout defense of her title just fell one place short. And Gardadi of Morocco, who could have predicted this? If you had tried to get odds on this, you would have made so much money this morning. But it's not about money, it's about medals. These are forever, these medals. And uh, this from Fatima Ezara Gardadi at the age of 31 in only her third marathon. And it's going to be, funnily enough, almost identical to her two thirds so far. 2.25.03, 2.25.07, and unofficially 2.25.17 in Budapest. Miraculous running from God Daddy. And boy, did she finish fast, Sonia O'Sullivan. She finished strong, and she looks like she absolutely cannot believe it. And here is Lorna Salpeter managed to also overtake um, Yahula on the way in. And these at least, they look like this has been really hard work this last bit. When they hit the carpet, it looked like, you know, they felt like we're home, but they all looked like they had to concentrate so much to get around there without falling down. And even Yahula, as she's coming in here now in fifth place, she looks like she's really struggling just to stay on her feet and get to the finish line. And this is like the, just, I'm sure they're just feeling these jelly legs that they just can't control it anymore. And it's just a concentration to get across the finish line and relieved to be home. Yeah, Yahua Law has been a great champion in her time, a fabulous racer, but undone by the temperatures here today. Just makes it across the line. Yalamzov, Yahua Law, the London champion from last year. All three of her marathons prior to today have been under 220 by the 24 year old. She was only 24 three weeks back, but today something around 226.20 for her. ተካቷል ለነጭ አትሌቶች ዝብሩ ላይ ተካቷል በርግጠኝነት እንግዲህ ከእግዚአብሔር ጋር ጥሩ ውጤት ይመጣል ብዬ አስባለሁ 